Hello guys, gals, and unbinary pals, welcome back to my channel, and today I wanted to go over an amazing website called the Saddlebag Exchange, which we'll be using to create to make some seriously huge profits, and it's all going to be done with just flipping. Now, flipping is of course what I'm mainly using it for, but you can use these functions for many different things, and what I'm going to share with you today is a whole load of presets for all different types of flipping, but again, you can use it for all sorts of things. So no crafting, no gathering, and no farming, just flipping. If that interests you, then of course, let's get into it. So I've been flipping ever since the brand new U servers app came out, though I've been doing everything manually, sitting on the market board for hours, sorting which servers I would have to go ahead and travel to for the best price. And I definitely netted a ton of profit, though luckily the website the Saddlebag Exchange congregates all the information that we need without having to do anything ourselves. We just have to input certain parameters and that's why I have a ton of presets that I can share with you for all sorts of things. And if you're also interested in a readable format of the video, I do have my blog post which is filled with all the presets there and you can save it and use it whenever you want these presets. Or if you don't want to listen to me talk, you can go ahead and read everything that I'll mention here there. I also have a ton more blog posts for all sorts of gill making things so if you are interested all this will be down below. So now here is the website the Saddlebag Exchange and the first thing that you should go ahead and do is come up here to the top right and set your server. So pick your data center and then your world and then hit save. Now what we're going to be focusing on today is the queries. There's all sorts of things here that you can go ahead and take a look at. I might do another video with a more in-depth look at it but we're specifically focusing on the queries. Now there are already a few good presets here. Beginner out of stock, low quality out of stock, high value search, fast sales search, commodities, NPC vendor item search, quest item search, and mega value search. Again, these are a great base to build upon, especially when you want to focus on things that you're familiar with or if you want to go ahead and make use of all the parameters that we can use. And we'll first start off with low investment flipping. Now we have low investment, mid investment, which of course requires a medium investment, and towards the bottom, high investment. So no matter what you want to do and how much gill you have, there is something for everyone. But before we do go ahead and input this preset, I want to go ahead and take a look at the components. So again, just go to queries, hit any of these. We're going to be editing it for our own use. So first stop is scan hours. I do recommend using either 24 for quicker sales, depending on what you want to go ahead and sell. You can't be mindless with the scan hours since especially some higher ticket items do tend to sell slower. I usually use 48 hours, a week hours, which is around 168 hours. And for super big ticket items, hours for two weeks and a month. For the sale amount, it's how many sales you want within that specified time frame. So if I put 48 hours and I want a minimum sale amount of two, it's only going to show me items that sold at least two per the last two days. So quite simple. With the return on investment or ROI, this of course how much value you're getting for the original purchase price. So let's say something is worth 50k on Louis Swa and on your home world, Raiden, it is worth 100k. So you just made a 100% profit if you go ahead on Louis Swa, buy it and sell it on your home server, Raiden. I usually tend to go around at 50% ROI, but 25% is also quite good. Next is minimum stack size. It really depends depends on what you're trying to look for. Now, of course, if you're looking for furniture, mounts, especially you don't want to have a higher stack size than one because you can't put mounts on a higher stack size than one. If you're going to go ahead and try to look for food and pots, then of course the stack size matters. Next is a minimum profit amount. This ties in with the minimum stack size, especially let's say you're looking for a 10K minimum profit amount, but you put your stack size to a minimum of 10. That means you're making a minimum of 100K per stack. So it is pretty important. And it also kind of ties in with the ROI. Sometimes I put the ROI down to a 10% if it means I can still make a 75K profit. And next is average price. 
per unit. Now, I usually match that average price to the minimum profit amount since you can't make 75k profit on an item that's only worth 1k. It's also pretty good to not put it too low since let's say you find something that you can make a profit of 350,000, but the average price per unit is actually only 100k. It might be abnormally a little bit too high, so I do recommend matching the price per unit to the minimum profit amount if you're going with the minimum stack size of one. Now, next up is filters, and this is especially so nice if you want to go ahead and focus on a particular niche. There is everything, meaning every item that is sellable on the market board, purchasable from the NPC vendor, supply and provisioning mission quest items, so stuff for your grand company, crafter class quest items, arms meaning all the job weapons, tools meaning all the tools for your crafter and gather, armor, all the gear, accessories, again all the accessories, medicines and meals, materials, and under other there's furnishings, materia, crystals, catalysts, miscellany, exterior fixtures, interior fixtures, outdoor furnishings and indoor furnishings, seasonal, miscellany, minions, airship and submersible components, orchestrian components, gardening items, paintings, and registrable miscellany. So it really depends what you want to focus on. You can easily filter out and in whatever you'd like. Next would be enable high quality only. So let's say you're looking for foods and potions, nobody really is buying low quality, you would go ahead and enable this. But if you're selling something like furniture or exteriors, you want to disable it since you can't have high quality versions of these items. Next would be region wide search and I always have this on because it is quite important to go ahead and use the entirety of your data center. But if you want to go ahead and be a little bit quicker while losing a bit out on profit, you can go ahead and disable it. Next would be include vendor prices and you're going to go Go ahead and compare market prices versus vendor prices on normal quality items if they can go ahead and be purchased from a vendor. And finally, include out of stock. This will go ahead and include out of stock items within your query. And let's say something is selling for 55k on what we saw, but on my server Raiden it is out of stock. I can go ahead and put the price for whatever I'd like. Now we can go ahead and start putting these filters to use, but I do recommend you to go ahead and fiddle around with these parameters, especially if you know what you are want to sell but if you're unsure or a little bit uncertain we of course have a ton here so let's start with the low investment but quick sales with the furnishing item quick sales if on your computer the image is a bit small then go ahead open image in a new tab and you'll see it this way but once you put in all the parameters and you see the filters here and make sure you don't have anything checked but the filters that we need and go ahead and hit search and here are the items we got so again within the last 48 hours the sale amount was minimum to five with the average price per unit being 5k and the minimum profit amount being 5k with a 25 percent minimum return on investment and this of course will only be furniture so every two days we can sell five of the miniature either for 33,000 pure profit and go ahead and buy it on Phoenix for 15k but sell it for 52. You can also sort by sale rate. The higher the sale rate, the quicker it's going to sell. But if you don't want sale rate, I do recommend just sorting by profit amount. If you want a more stable, higher price, then you can go ahead and sort by average price per unit. But since all of these fit my parameters, I would go ahead and sort by lowest price per server. And that way I can easily see what server I need to go to and what I need to buy by there. So I head off to Lich, then to Odin, Omega, Phantom, buy two things from Phoenix, go to Sagittarius, go to the vendor, and then head off to Titania. What I would do is I would hit all my light destinations, then come back to Chaos. But let's say you don't want to deal with furniture, you can go ahead and check out how well collectible consumable items sell on your server. Now what do I mean by that? It's really just minions, mounts, and orchestrian rules. So what you want to do is you're going to go ahead and set scan hours to 48, sale amount to 5, ROI to 25, average price and minimum profit to 5k, region wide include out of stock, vendor prices, and with the filters, nothing but minions, orchestrian components, and registrable miscellany. Hit search, and here is one minion you can go ahead and buy for 300 gil, but you can sell it on Raiden for 9k, therefore making a profit of 8k with only needing to invest 300 gil per each. Now that's pretty good, and especially if you don't have a lot of gil to start off with, you can go ahead and make gil reliably like that. But if I'm going to be honest, I'm pretty much past that unless I'm starting a fresh alt with really only a thousand gil to spear. I'm going to go ahead to the medium investment and start there. So this is 
my favorite the furniture medium cell i use this all the time and i have made millions of it i would assume i've made around 50 million on just one character which is on phantom so i do recommend having an alt that just sells furniture and other stuff on the smaller servers but with the new patch 6.3 we're gonna have a ton more housing and that means more people are gonna be buying furniture so it's gonna be viable on all servers very soon but i'll stay on raiden what you want to do is you want to go ahead and put 168 in the scan hours which is a week's worth of time same amount to two return on investment 25 percent average price and minimum profit 75k minimum stack size to one and of course put your filters to furnishing only exterior fixtures interior fixtures and so on disable high quality only region wide include out of stock and include vendor prices and then you hit search so we hear the listings on raiden we have a starting profit Profit of 294k, a profit of 160k, 128k, and 88k. Again, this sells twice every week. So if you bought two per each every week, you would go ahead and make 1,340,000. So that is pretty darn good. And the MRAT wall lamp doesn't have a profit amount since there is no stock on my server currently. So I would go ahead and price this a bit higher than the average price per unit. But if you notice that you can be stingy about it, people buy it for a lot more sometimes and you could get away with pricing it at 200k if someone undercuts you then you know you just go and undercut them back but if you start off at a higher price most likely they'll just undercut you by one gill so you're only at 199k but let's go ahead and see how well this does on other servers with the same search and here is the same search but on phantom but we're starting off strong with 270,000 going all the way down to 77k again every two again being sold twice per week and if we're gonna go ahead and server hop again sort list price per server and then you can easily see what you need to buy per each server and now let's go ahead and try it on an NA server and now we're on aether genova we're gonna hit search and here is a whole load of items for genova and we're starting off pretty strong with a profit amount of 560,000 although you have to pay attention to how much you're actually going to be spending since you do have to invest quite a bit now does it matter to be starting on the top of the list no even if you go all the way down to the bottom of a profit of 80k you're still selling two of these per week so everything within the parameters are viable even if you're at the bottom but again if you do have the amount of guilt to go ahead and invest the 500k you can sell it on genova for 1.1 mil and make a profit of 500k and the average price checks out it sells for usually on genova for 1 mil next would be the bearskin rug then the modern mog seat for 200k and down to the chenier's ring at an 80k profit so make sure that the presets work on the server that you're on or check around if you have alts that you can go ahead and flip on that you're getting the best price and making the most profit but since we're starting to tread on the big ticket items let's go ahead and take a look at the high investment presets and here is the first high investment flipping preset starting with furniture once again since furniture does tend to sell quite well with the lower pop servers and of course coming along with 6.3 it'll be more viable on every server so 336 hours in the scan which is two weeks one for the sale amount 25 on roi and 300k for the average price and the minimum profit include vendor out of stock and region wide disable high quality and select our furniture filters hit search and we have a few listings for two items and the rest out of stock and with the medium shiragane castle walls we can go ahead flip this for a profit of 1.2 mil the oriental grass plot flip it for 500k and the antique sink is currently not listed on my server viable at 250,000 but the average price sold on my server is 649 so i would post it at 700k and make a 400k profit the flagstone loft viable cheapest on mogul for 1 mil but i can post it for 1.6 mil since that is the average price for my server and make a profit of 600,000 but it's not just furniture more big ticket items can come in the form of glamour collect 336 hours one to the sale amount 25 roi 300k for a profit and average price one stack size vendor out of stock and region wide and the only filters will 
apply is the arms and the armor hit search but the issue with arms and armor is that you can't go ahead and select only glamour i think something that would help this website is by selecting a range of level since glamour all starts at level one and job gear all starts at level 90 80 etc but we can sift through the selection that we have here since we do know what is glamour and what's not and if you're unsure, you can just hit item data or go to the Universalis page linked here. So first off, casual boots, I can buy it cheapest for 249, but pay attention, casual boots do come from the, do come from the casual glamour coffer. So make sure that you're not spending more than you have to. But even if I went ahead and bought these casual boots for 249k, it has not been posted on my server and the average price is around 100k more. Out of the profit here, the path makers is not glamour and the random set of pieces are also not glamour so I'll be skipping that. But the varsity flat cap viable at 147 on Odin but I can go ahead and sell it for a profit of 392,000. The next big ticket preset is for collectibles. So stuff like mounts, minions, and orchestral rolls. So 336 in the scan hours, one seal amount, 25 on the ROI, 500,000 for the profit amount, and 300k for the average price. One on stack size, region wide, include out of stock, and include vendor prices, and of course, select minions, orchestral components, and vegetable miscellany. Hit search. And now we have a whole load of items. And remember, one is sold every two weeks. And look at this. Gabriel Mark III identification key. Bible at 13 mil, but I can go ahead and sell it for 25 mil, which is crazy. A profit of 10 million. So if you have the gill, I do recommend doing the high investment sales. Alkanos Whistle, buyable at 9 mil, sellable for 17 mil, and a profit of 6.8 million. Average price on my server is 10 million. So at the very least, you will still make a million gill in profit. Knight Pegasus Whistle, buyable at 12 mil, sellable at 20 mil for a profit of 6.2 mil, but even if we go all the way to the end, the Crab de la Crab, buyable at 94k, but sellable at 838k, with a profit of 697. So if you only have a certain amount to spend, I do recommend sorting lowest price per unit down here, then you can sort by the cheapest investment. I can invest 94k, 367, all the way up to 13 million. So that is pretty useful if you want to get into big ticket items, but you also don't have the big ticket guilt. And of course, there are way more resets on the blog post, so I do recommend that. But I also oblige you to go ahead and screw around with the presets that are already there or to create your own. If you do have a few that you want to share, you can go ahead, share that in the comments or in my Discord. I would love to see them. But it's so simple to just go ahead, put in some parameters and find some crazy things. So I just went to the mega value search put in 300 hours so I don't want to have a 999 cap. I'm not going to touch everything here and just leave it on the filter everything. Since I don't mind what I got, I just want to see what follows this parameter. And there's a whole lot. Again, the amounts we just saw, but also some items that we didn't see, specifically the Shark Class Stern, which is, of course, for airships. Again, have fun with the parameters. You can find a ton of stuff here that you wouldn't have otherwise known about, especially since the filters narrowed things down so nicely. But let's say you don't really want to get into flipping and you really just want to craft and gather. Well, this website is still pretty darn useful to you. You can still see easily what materials and what gatherables are worth the most on your server and more especially the sale rates. So Chondra Ingot, I can buy it cheap for 696 but on my home server price it is 3.6 thousand. So per Chondra Ingot, I would be making 2.7k and with a sale rate of 0.7 which is pretty darn crazy. Rates have been tincture of strength, buyable at 1k but sellable at 2.6 with a sale rate of 0.6. Mithrite Nugget, Deep Gold Ingot, Almsty Surge, Chromite Ingot, all these, all down to the list, are just an absolute ton of items I can go ahead, start crafting, or I can go ahead and flip. If you want a more specific search, all you have to do is go to the filters, go to materials, and select what materials you want to focus on, cloth, lumber, leather, etc. And if you only want to focus on high quality materials, that option is there also for you. Or if you do have an item in mind that you want to go ahead and craft, but you want to see more specific information, that you go to item history, put in the name of the item, select the item in the drop down, select high quality or low quality, and hit search. And it's going to show you average quantity of individual items sold per day. So the average amount of sales per day for this item, which would be 59, average amount total per 
purchases per day, 14 separate purchases, and total sold 836. And even the average price. So average price would be 1.3 on Louis Law, which is pretty good since an average of 59 are being sold per day. And you can see the sales per hour when it peaks and all the region price history. So guys, that was everything with queries with the website, the Saddlebag Exchange. I really do recommend going ahead, taking a look at the website, even if you're worried about flipping, you can still use this website to find the bigger ticket items that you can either focus on farming, focus on crafting or gathering, and there is really something for everyone. Remember to go ahead and take a look at the creator's discord. There is a ton more stuff there. And if you're ever curious about something or you have a question or a suggestion, do let the creator know. And you can also support him on his Patreon down in the description below. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe if you want to. And of course, thank you to everyone that supports me on Twitch, Discord, and YouTube. You all keep the channel going. Hope to see you in the next one and bye-bye. Oh, 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 oh,